In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three things that you must do in order to transform your manifestation ability. This can be a game changer for you and make it so much easier for you to attract what you want. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you those three things that you must do in order to transform your manifestation ability. And let me just first off say that I think this can be so much of an easier process than a lot of us make it. You know, the old traditional way of looking at the law of attraction is that you are here, you wanna get here, and that what you must do is you must try really hard. There must be a whole bunch of different complex stuff that happens in order for you to get here to here. But with a certain understandings of how to manifest from a higher perspective, from a quote unquote higher vibration, what you begin to do is to create in a much more magical way, but at the same time, you start to leverage your own energy. You start to leverage the action that you're taking because you're coming at it from a different point of view. So let me first off say as well that there is a, uh, one of the things that made a biggest change in my life is when I learned how to raise my vibrational set point because what happened is before I was feeling probably a majority of the time at about a one out of 10, I was feeling like a, maybe a four or five out of 10. But what happened is as I went through and I learned certain types of meditation, I learned how to really see myself in a completely new way. I had a experience to where then I started to feel like I was at a seven or an eight out of 10. Things happen so much more quickly and that's why I've created a free guided meditation that will help you to raise your vibrational set point so that you start to feel better a majority of the time and then create from a higher perspective. So that's gonna be absolutely something you can download free. It's gonna be in the top of the description box below. But I just wanted to say that when you align your energy, everything happens much faster. So. The first part of transforming your level of consciousness and of manifesting in a much more powerful way has to do with simply awareness. Most people are not aware of what they're thinking. And we say a lot of times that the subconscious mind is running our life. And while at a certain point that is true, at the same time, if we simply become aware of what we're thinking, we bring the subconscious into the conscious. So whereas before we may have certain ways of seeing ourselves, certain ways that we look at ourselves, when we start to become aware of that, that's where everything begins to change. Now, I remember for me, for example, I went through a spiritual awakening back in 2012. It was a long time ago, but I went through that spiritual awakening and it changed my whole life. And it was something that kind of happened on accident. It was simply that I had ADHD at the time and it was hard for me to focus. And I was like, oh, well, let me see something else that has uh, that will help me to cure that rather than needing to take Adderall, which is the prescription drug that I was taking at the time for it. So I would take that and make me focus, but the side effects are you couldn't eat very much, you couldn't sleep very much. So I learned meditation and I went online and I found meditation is powerful. I said, okay, let me try this. First two or three times I did it, didn't get much results. But I started to observe my thoughts and in that observation, I started to become more of a observer, a neutral observer. And I started to detach from the negative emotions that were weighing me down. You know, I realized that growing up, because I went through pain growing up, like I'm sure a lot of, you know, maybe you went through as well, that because of that, I started to identify myself with more of these lower emotional states of being. I started, I was angry at certain things that happened, certain things with living situations, certain things with someone that was in my life for a period of time when I was younger. and. There was a lot of resistance there, but what I had to learn to do is to observe all of those thoughts, to observe even my past of who I was and what I thought, and as I did that, I started to let go of those lower emotional states. So realize that that, was so, that is something that can really transform your life, learning to observe your thoughts, that's what I did. And basically what happened is I started to more so observe my thoughts and I saw that I had these uh, like this self image that said, oh, you have ADHD, you need to take Adderall. You know, that's, the that's what you're supposed to do in order to get rid of that. So I became aware of that. I became aware of these thoughts that I had towards, you know, being angry at things that have happened in the past. I became aware of these limitations that I had. And as I started to become more and more aware that I create my own reality, just like you do, as I started to become more aware of that, I started to become more empowered. I started to really love learning about the law of attraction. And that's why for years, all I did was study the law of attraction. All I did was study manifestation techniques. 
All I did was study different ways of becoming successful, personal development in general. And that's why one of my biggest passions now is learning how to transform our level of consciousness to create from such a higher point of view. So the first thing you must do is become aware of what you're thinking. The easiest way to do this is to simply start every single day for just a couple minutes, observe your own thoughts from a neutral point of view too. I remember for the longest time, I was so focused on trying to control my thoughts that that created resistance. I was like, oh, I'm thinking negative thoughts. I need to completely, uh, you know, not let those happen. And then I'd create more and more resistance. And then guess what? It got to the point to where it's like, I felt like I wasn't going anywhere. I felt like I was spinning my wheels. So learn how to observe your thoughts. And as you observe your thoughts, so much can change because you start to see that there's always two perspectives you can have. The reaction to your ego, the reaction of your ego, or the observation. And then in the observation, there's a feeling of spaciousness, a feeling of presence. And with that feeling of presence comes a higher vibrational state of being from which you can create in a much more powerful place. Because the way that it works is when you elevate your emotion, whatever you're thinking about when you elevate your emotion will manifest and come to you much faster. It's a balance of having the intention with the elevated emotion. So the second thing that you must do in order to transform your whole manifestation ability is to stop thinking in a linear way all of the time. So part of this means and has the awareness that the moment of now is the only real moment that exists. Now I know I've shared this before, but the idea is that right now we can't experience the past because when it was the past, it was this moment now, but from a different point of view and the future, we will never actually experience the future because it's always this now moment. But as we quote unquote, move through time, we will then perceive of the future when it gets here, but it always happens now. The reason this is so powerful is because under understanding quantum manifestation, which is really the quantum physics of understanding how reality works, we can see that all possible realities exist right here, right now in the present moment. It's simply vibrating at a different frequency. So when we have this awareness, we can see that the main focus can then be having that outcome of what we want to experience and start to live as if that is who we are because it exists right now. Now, the other part of this is being able to let go of the past experiences because even though you may have had certain past experiences, there are other past experiences that also exist right now that you did not experience, but from a different parallel reality, you did experience it. So I know that sounds kind of funny, but think about it. Your past of the what you think happened to you is only one probability of something that happened in the past. And because you keep telling yourself that story, you keep bringing that past into the present moment and into the future moment, which means then you will continue to create that over and over in the now moment. That's why in neuroscience, they say that of the 60 to 70,000 thoughts we think a day, over 90% of them are recycled from the day before. We tell ourselves the same story. We identify with those past memories, those experiences, and we think about them, we relate to them, and in that relation to them, we end up creating more of it. So instead, don't have an emotional charge with that relation to the past. Observe it as something that happened. Sometimes what you have to do is you have to heal it by being aware and accepting it that it did happen. And then choosing who you prefer to be now in the present moment because the best possible version of you exists right now, simply vibrating at a different frequency. And if you learn how to more so embody that self image, how to embody that version of you, everything begins to change, but you have to let go of the past. And the easiest way to do this is to accept that it happened to forgive the people that did anything to you, forgive yourself if you did anything, and as you forgive yourself and as you forgive other people, guess what? You let go of that energy that's tying you to the story. And then you create from a clean slate. So clean your slate and understand that as you do that, you transform your manifestation ability. Now, the third way to transform your consciousness in order to create from so much of a more powerful point of view is the most powerful one. This is one that can absolutely change your life. It's changed my life. Even though I've had so much success on YouTube and so much success with my own business, this has transformed my life and this is something I'm currently really embodying more so than ever. And that is something I've explained kind of at the beginning of this video. 
We are here. Our goals are here. We don't, we don't give ourselves permission to feel the emotions of being over here until we actually have the outer environment to be over here. Now, this is something that we've been trained for since such an early age in life. We've been trained that once you do X, Y, Z, then you can feel this way. But that's going about it backwards. Instead, feel this way and this is where you will be. This is where then the environment begins to change according to that. Now, let me give this to you in a little bit different of a way as well from understanding it. The combination of having focused, pure intention, which means intention is the will to have something, the will to, to pinpoint what you want. You're clear on your vision. That's your intention. Your intention mixed with elevated emotion will transform your whole manifestation ability. This is where books came out like The Feeling is a Secret by Walter Waddles. No, Neville Goddard, I'm sorry, Neville Goddard. And it's a uh, powerful book for before you go to bed to feel the emotions of what you want to experience. This is similar, focus on the feeling. Think about it like this, the intention is the electric type energy, right? The electric type uh, impulses in the brain, the neurons in the brain that are firing together. The elevated emotion is the magnetic type part of the equation. Electromagnetic. We then are putting out a frequency that is more likely to create that reality for us. This can be something that profoundly changes your life when you start to apply it. So this is what you do. You start to focus more on the feelings of what you want to create in your life. What emotion would your manifestation bring you? If you are here, your goals are here, and this is what you think will make you feel a certain way, what do you want to feel? Mo everything can be broken down into emotion because everything we want is because we believe we will feel better in the having of it. That's what we believe. So if we want more money, more freedom, security. If we want a relationship, connection, compassion, love. If we want a job that we love and to do that for a living, freedom, the ability to feel passionate in our life. It's an emotion. So what we do is we say, when I get there, I'll feel that emotion, but it's going about it backwards. So instead, how can you feel more freedom in your daily life? Well, maybe you, go, you have time to go to the gym. You have time to go and do what you want. You have time to go walk around the park with your dog or just spend time with your dog. You have the ability to eat what you want. So be aware of where the freedom already is in your life and focus on things that make you feel more of that. Focus on the gratitude for what you already have. Put the awareness inside of your heart and everything begins to change. To do this, put your hands over your heart right now. Put your hands over your heart and have an intention that you feel the emotion inside your heart space. And as you do this right now, it just takes a couple seconds to start to feel it swell up a little bit. As you feel the warmth from your hands over your heart, you're gonna to start to put the attention inside of your heart. And that's where the magnetic energy is. The electromagnetic energy of the heart is thousands of times more powerful than that of the head. But when you mix it with the head, when you mix it with the intention and the vision that you have for what you want to experience, you make a very powerful dynamic. You can create things in a much quicker way because you transcend that of linear time because you're going straight for the feeling itself. This is the biggest game changer. This has changed my life the most. And this is something I recommend that you do every single day. You focus on the feelings of what you want to experience. Set apart time every day where you'll visualize it, but also put the attention, the awareness inside of your body. And as you elevate that emotion, and as you're very clear on that vision, you combine these two things together, it will profoundly change your life in a very powerful way. So remember the other thing you can do is to elevate your vibrational state of being because as you do that, you will create from a much more powerful place. When you raise your vibration, things happen in a much more profound way and things happen easier for you. So that's a meditation, top of the description box below. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be doing more live Q and A's, showing you more of my life. And that's something that you could do by clicking the link in the top of the description box as well. I'll have a link there for you, or you'll see it right below me right here. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, namaste. I'll see you guys on the next video.